Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. We got our Monday Night Football, NFL Week 7. Two games. First one, Ravens at uh, Tampa. A little line check real quick. Minus 5.5. We opened up at 46 of the total. Ravens as the favorite. Uh, line did go down a little bit. 3.5, 4. Uh, total went up to 50. And uh, Ravens still the favorite, but it did go down a little bit. Minus 190. Uh, then we got a second game. Chargers uh, going into Arizona. Open that plus one, total 45, and Chargers as the favorite, minus 102. It's kind of pick them, though. 102, minus 118, and uh, stay the same. Total went down one, but uh, basically stayed the same. Um, first game, Ravens. You got Jim Harbaugh going against Todd Bowles, Tampa. Both, uh, both decent teams. Total real high, 50. Uh, a couple of little stats. We got, uh, Ravens 4-2. and two. Both teams 4-2. and two. Uh, Ravens four straight games they have won. Tampa coming off a big win over the Saints. Uh, Baltimore has won three straight Monday nights, and uh, Bacon Mayfield has lost five straight. So, uh, yeah, it could be uh, a little a little dilemma, but it should be a real good game. It's, I think it's going to come down to uh, the end. Uh, Ravens, number one run game, number one yards per carry. Uh the uh, Tampa has held the last two teams they've played to uh, about 77 run yards per game. So, and as well as Tampa got some few a few players back on the defensive end. So they got a, a decent. Todd Bowles, their coach, is a good uh, defensive minded coach too. So it should be a good defensive battle. Uh, I don't expect Baltimore to run all over them like they've been doing to teams. Um, if you look at this here on the screen, it basically tells you, it shows you the ranking, Baltimore versus Tampa overall. It shows you where they value points per game, 29, and where opposing teams for Tampa uh, rank, vice versa, and it goes all around. I like this little, this one little page right here basically gives you a, uh, and it goes over to Russian. Russian plays ranked number one in yards per play, ranked number one, and where Tampa's defense would rank. And then it goes Tampa's offense for rushing and Baltimore's. So basically, there's one little page right here that tells you how the teams would match up against each other, or at least where they're ranked in the NFL passing. Da, 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 da. Uh, both got great kickers. But yeah, you can always run that back slow and look through it. Uh, as far as the other game, I guess we could show that real quick too. Uh, charges. This team rankings, I've mentioned it before, but if you're new to the channel, it has a lot of good uh, attributes to it. Once again, like it's charges versus Arizona, so this would be charges overall. And this is where Arizona opponents versus uh, that play Arizona.
then the Russian would be Chargers, and that's how all teams played against Arizona. And vice versa, Arizona, and all teams played against Chargers. Uh, Chargers should be looking to run all over them. So look for Dobbins to have a lot of yards. He's basically the only back right now. The other guys are injured. I don't really have many play. I got. I think I got one play for that game. Looked a lot better though. You could always run that back and check out it. All right, I got a few player props. Get right into them. All right, so first up, uh, I went with Mayfield uh, passing touchdowns over one and a half. Minus 114, FanDuel. Uh, Baltimore's great against, uh, I mean, they got a good defense too, but they let up a lot of passing yards, a lot of passing TDs, ranked 29th in the league. It's damn near last. Uh, he's been doing real well. The team's been doing well. Uh, Evans is questionable. He got hurt last game again. But I'm pretty sure he's going to play. Uh, what did we hit this? We hit this four out of the last six. And as you see, these last three games, it's just been totally increasing. Uh, they're playing at home. There's a lot of riding on this game. You got uh, some uh, personal stuff, I guess, going on with Tampa, you know, with that hurricane. And last week, the uh, hurricane hit like a week or two ago. And um, last week when they played New Orleans, they were in a hotel. I mean, they were at New Orleans, but they were in a hotel all week. And... Uh, it's their first game back since then and all the devastation. So she could have some personal meeting to give the you know, the state and the and the county something to uh, cheer for. But uh he's been doing real well going over this pretty easily. Uh he's got a lot of, a lot of uh weapons between Godwin. Uh you can look for the anytime touchdown with Evidence or Godwin. They got the tight end. They got quite a few uh, some red zone passing attempts. A lot of times, too, it's not even the short pass. Like, they're not even in the red zone to get these touchdowns. He's getting some uh, some deep throws. He's got a good passer rating, 109, averaging. Uh, he's doing pretty good. I'm expecting to go over it. Uh, total Total's at 50 right now. So they're definitely expecting some touchdowns, and uh, he's going to pass for them. So let's get it. Baker Mayfield, one and a half, over one and a half. All right, next up, I went uh played him last week. Rashad Bateman, receiving yards over 35 and a half. Number went down a little bit. Went back up a little bit. Uh, minus 110, FanDuel. Uh, cleared this real easy last game. Uh, four out of six. Averaging three receptions, four targets. So he's definitely getting the ball. Uh, four for four last game. Average yards per reception, 16.2. Uh, catching some long ones too, some deep balls. Uh, Tampa overall, oops, 29th to receiving yards, wide receiver position, ranked 27th, so they're also giving up yards. Uh, this other site I just started using. NFL stats, FTN data. Basically, uh, Shows you how much they use the guy. Fucked up. Hold up. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's on there. Where do I go? Come on. All 
All right, so this is all, all six games. Uh, Twenty six targets, seventeen receptions, two hundred seventy three yards, two touchdowns. He's averaging four point three targets a game. Uh, about three receptions, forty five yards. Uh, two hundred nineteen snaps. He's on the field, fifty three percent. He's getting uh, so half the time he's on the field for snaps. He's getting some type of action or running routes for that matter. Uh, I'm still figuring out how to use this, but uh, I like it for that matter. It breaks it all down, too. I didn't pay for it. This is, you can see there's some locked features I can't get to. But uh, games, how many targets, receptions, yards, TDs. It's got air yards. Average depth of target, air yards per game. I guess that's how much space is when they throw the ball. But yeah, uh, I believe he should go over. He's been going over. He's had a touchdown, I think, two games ago. What I'm noticing, he's basically like receiver number two behind uh, Zay Flowers. Yeah, second in targets on the team. Yeah, so let's get it, Bateman. So, Mark Andrews receiving yards over 24 and a half. Uh, it could be 25 plus, depends on the book. Overall, Tampa Bay is ranked 29th receiving yards, 28th to the tight end. Uh, last two games, he started getting some action again. Went way over this. 55 and 66. Um, now, Buffalo was a blowout, unfortunately. Uh, Dallas was a blowout, too. So they ran the ball. They didn't really need them. Uh, expected to be a, a back and forth game. And he's uh, going to get some, some targets and receptions. So other than those two games, I mean, the first game, I don't think he cleared it either. But uh, should be good to go. Mashup's good. Fifth on the team in uh, receptions. Uh, targets, rather. And that's without these two. If he had some action in those games, it would be definitely higher. But uh, I just feel like the number is too low. One or two receptions, he's going over. So let's get it, Mark Andrews. I mean, there's a few other uh, tight ends too, but, you know, Mark Andrews is the veteran. Uh, expect him to get a couple touches. All right, so for this next play, uh, might be the only person you see given this. Uh, I got Derrick Henry receiving yards over five and a half. Uh, we know he's not the receiving back. Justice Hill is, and you can look for him, too. Uh, they did bump his number up. It was at, like, 14, and now it's at, like, 17. And when I was searching for plays, I had it. The Hill play, but before I can send it to the books, uh, it went up. So I figure, if anything, I'll lie about it. But uh, Derrick Henry's even money, FanDuel. Overall, like I said, 29th receiving yards to the running back, ranked 30th. Now, yeah, you don't get many opportunities. They got his receptions at one and a half um, for plus money as well. Now, he's went over this three out of the six. Uh, method to my madness, I'm thinking Tampa's got a good run defense. Now, this might be the first game where Henry gets challenged or Baltimore for that reason uh, against the run. So they might uh, look to get him involved in other ways, and that would be a screen pass, a little drop off, nothing crazy. Or even if they've gotten to get down by the goal line, 
They might fake to him and hit him on a screen pass or in the red zone. But I'm thinking he might have a little trouble running. Uh, defense, uh, Todd Bowles, good defensive coach. He, I'm sure he's master, mastermind the plan to get him to try to stop him. And uh, at five and a half, it, it just stuck out to me. Once I missed the hill play, the line for the hill play, I, uh, I decided to go with it. Um, I think it should cash. And the more I looked at it, the more I thought about it, and it's kind of a good idea. No one's expecting it. Numbers real low. Uh, what are they guys? Receptions. Reception at one and a half and plus one fifty. Now, I'm not expecting them to get the ball like that. Obviously, you see, but uh. Hopefully he gets one, right? That's my thinking. Um, I did have two other plays I can't show you on here, though. Uh, their first quarter receiving plays. One is for uh, Zay Flowers. Uh, first quarter receiving yards. It's on FanDuel. If you go to receiving yards, scroll down. It'll say a couple players, first quarter, blah, blah, blah. Uh, his total receiving yards is probably a good play, but it's just so high. The last two games, he's doubled his doubled it, had over 100 yards. Um, Tampa's not good, not that good at uh, stopping the pass anyway, so he might go over it. But he gets opportunities right off the rip, and uh, I think they got it at like 11 and a half. So I think he's going to go over it. It should be an easy cash, and then you get paid that as soon as the first quarter ends. Uh, the other one I went with is Trey McBride, tight end on the Cardinals. It's for the second game. I went for the same thing with him, first quarter receiving yards. They got his at like five and a half. Uh, he's a tight end. His yards for the day, for the full game, isn't a bad play, except for the fact that they got it so high. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. is coming back. He had a concussion, so he'll be a little more involved. But uh, he got his receptions at like five and a half, too, which he's been getting. You know, he's been uh, he's getting a lot of action. Clear this three out of the out of five. Um, Method to my madness, once again, overall ranked 11th in receiving yards to the tight end position. They're ranked 25th. Now, the Chargers run a lot of zone D. Basically, and the tight ends eat that stuff apart, at least a good tight end will. They go up and they settle in the zone, and uh, it should be all right. Uh, I went back and looked through the games, previous games. There was a few of them. He went over this first quarter. Same thing with Zay Flowers. So, yeah, those are the other two plays. Uh, there's a couple other plays I like that just the numbers ain't right. And uh, there's a few other plays that they're just not offering lines for. Uh, I noticed that yesterday, too, that uh, the plays I wanted to do, they, not, they didn't offer lines. And it's like I had a game plan before I went into looking. And uh, it's figures because, you know, scumbags. It's because they probably, I mean, they did cash. But, uh so what happens is sometimes during the game, in the beginning when it starts, they'll start throwing out lines. And uh, you got to live bet them. Um, so look forward to that. Uh, if you could like the video, new viewers, hit that subscribe button. This helps you out. Uh, if you could leave a comment, likes and comments, I'll get the videos out there. Uh, I know yesterday was a rough day. Uh, should have me tight. Um, Grind out last Sunday, too, a little rough. And then I grind out all week, make it back up. And then Sunday kills me. Uh, next Sunday, I'm definitely going with a different style. Uh, we'll get into that next time. But uh, Ace Money to Name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. Look out for the live bets. <laughs>